about the narcissist. A narcissist is somebody with a degraded, not in reality, the ego. A narcissist is somebody who thinks he is more special than others. He is a pathological liar and lies even to himself in many cases. He is in this regard a bit similar to a psychotic person, a person who does not live in reality. He creates his own reality and is in love with his own perfect version of himself. The narcissist can be very successful since they have the tendency to um, challenge authority. Many narcissists have the idea they are the authority in the subjects. They are very controlling. Narcissists don't want to change. In, in, in most of the time, since they're changing, means they have to accept their flaws and no one can longer paint the problem onto others. That's also a quality most narcissists have. They have the, the tendency to uh, blame other people when things go wrong. You can say the narcissist way of thinking is like, oh, he's not my fault that something is going wrong, that my business was um, failed. It is because of my terrible employers. I'll steal from me and slander me and spread lies about me. They don't care about me. There are the narcissists. I'm not. I am the perfect guy. That's how the narcissist thinks. The narcissist always convinces themselves that he is not a problem. Narcissists are very toxic people. They are, have also a large percentage of the time a lot of charisma and self confidence since they are play and act. They are playing their persona. They are playing their perfect version of themselves. They are good liars, so I say. So they can most of the time fool people, and specific people who are not careful. The narcissists see the world like a large cat and mouse game, specifically um, the malignant narcissists, the most violent and cruel, cruel version of the narcissist. Some people say narcissism is born, others say it is a symptom of society. What do I think? If you ask me, a narcissism, some forms of narcissism can be considered societal creations. I see it's just like um, some non-mental diseases. How can be triggered, but not have to be activated. What we see in many um, malignant narcissists, specific, that they have problems with empathy. In the frontal cortex, that's this part of the brain, and in the amygdala, that is um, part of the brain that is actually after your ear. You can see it on the picture I've shown. Uh, that are not good working. There are not so much neurons in that specific areas of the brain how help with empathy and with uh, auto forming from altruistic tools. Narcissists are, have also problems with understanding why other people will do stuff that don't benefit them. Because a narcissist, if he does something that seems altruistic, there's always an alternative motive. Maybe the narcissist wants to get a better image in the society. 
because they want to get admiration. The narcissists are a kind of energy vampire. There are a lot of people who praise them in the sky. Hold them up. But when you're stuck with that, they become passive aggressive and let you feel like shit. They will break you completely down. They will take any negative traits you have and make them gigantic. So they feel better. Narcissists like specifically people who are kind. People who are willing to give a next second chance. So they can abuse them. Mentally. Or in some kind some situations physically. Narcissists can be extremely sexual promiscuous. Or completely no taste for that. Since some narcissists are can be a very jealous of children because they can be taking away their narcissistic supply from their partner because of their own child in the life. Their partner can not longer give them the narcissistic supply the narcissists are longing for. If you want to know that I talk more about such stuff and if you want that I give you more symptoms about where you specifically have to look on in a more linear way or video when you want to spot somebody with high narcissistic tendencies or somebody how can be classified as a narcissist there are actually eight symptoms for the di diagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder and you need their five to have a classification sample of being a narcissist. Or if you want to, I talk more about other psychological topics. Put it in the comment section. And I will maybe do a video. Forget not to subscribe. Hit the bell. And stay following me for also other topics where i talk about and being a um, biocentric philosopher i am vegan for over 40 years my vegan journey started around 40 years ago at least um I am also interested in history. I am interested in psychology, uh, philosophy, and of course, it's, um, ecology because I'm a biocentric philosopher. I'm an anti anthropocentrist activist, on top of that, I am an animal rights activist because I believe all anima deserve rights, deserve to be protected from us and deserve to be getting the most best way that we can possibly give them and not should be treated like inanimate objects because that, my friend, is the root of all discrimination. We learn to discriminate between other species of animals long before we learn to discriminate against homosexuals, long before we learn to um, view women as lessers if we do, long before we consider, learn to um, discriminate between whites and blacks. As a young child does not, in most cases, care about um, the religion or the skin color or if it is a male or a female. They're also fun. They don't care about 
if some animal is a pig or a dog. They don't care about if it's been a baby elephant. They want to cuddle them. They want to play with them. With the ones. They are growing up. They are learning to discriminate. They are learning that it's okay to exploit. We have tried for so long of time to do it on the anthropocentric way of, um, the, of the so-called human rights. What human actually means, even. If you ask me, there are two ways you can look this word. The first one is that it is a political, a social political weapon to oppress others. Since that um, in the time of slavery, blacks were not considered human, they were considered bondmen or slaves. Chattel. Chattel and cattle come both from the Latin word capitala, and that means property. There were also life as stock, just like cows. And many of the narrators of the slave trade of our species, blacks, um, talk and speak about to be treated in the same manner that animals were treated. And to those brainless and dead and stupid and ignorant and living on pure instinct. Because that was the propaganda of that time. Just like the propaganda of today say that animals are brainless. When all scientific efforts show that it's absolute crap. That's absolute shit. Check out Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness for that example, or check out the What the Fish Knows, or other books about this. You can also check the video in the description below of a um, friend of mine, how to um, show that we are not the superior animal. The title is um, so ironically called. Um, the superior man or something like that so you can check that out and place your ego in a trash can and throw it out and learn to think again more like a child again in that regards of free talk free thinking Throw away that programming and try to care again about all living beings. Because I know once in your life you did not believe that animals are made to be food. And it was when you were a child. When you were a little, little child sitting by your mother and drinking. When you was a toddler, when you was a small, small child, and even when you were a little bit older, until the day come that people say, "Oh, a pig is a pig, and a pig is stupid, and cows and cow and cow makes milk and is stupid." Until the day come that people say a dog is uh, smart and is not stupid and is a pet. Uh, a cat, you have to be treated, uh, the cat have to be treated nice, but uh, screw the chicken, but not that chicken because that chicken is a pet. Be nice to the guinea pig of your sister, be, be um, nice to that hamster of your sister. Or your brother, but um, screw, screw uh, the deer because they're overpopulated and therefore shoot them because hunting uh, ma because man hunts and the, because men are cruel. That's actually what they say. Want you to be a cruel bastard man, or want you to be a tough man who stands up against systematic oppression? <laughs> Go vegan. Like um, Patrick Baboumi, I can easily break your neck, <laughs> by the way. 